Even and all, no respawns here, hope you're doing well. So we're back in the compound, and this will be the last building video. And this is one of the guard towers. Quite a simple little shape, using the wee triangle foundation pieces for the bottom, in a little hexagon, that's six? Yes, because octagon would be eight. I'm learning. I googled that after my last video where I completely fucked up. And then obviously on the edge there, you see you've got the wee we triangle things now you see that little issue right there i decided to just run with it mainly because i realized i couldn't just redo all the structure this is a little issue and criticism i have with conan exiles um those of you who played fallout know that when you when an item does what that did there which is basically where a foundation piece snaps into the ground i can still snap stuff to it in conan exiles they don't let no, things don't snap into the ground at all um so what i'm doing right here is i'm putting the wall bits on and i can't actually annoyingly do the bottom even when I, I did try uh, when I first did this I tried to actually put like ceiling bits on and then actually snap the wall to the ceiling bits at least right now it wouldn't let me do it so I end up having to put two very ugly foundations on it's unfortunate we don't have like a select all function similar to Fallout 4 where I can just kind of pick everything up and kind of shunt it back say a few meters so this wasn't an issue it again this game's in alpha so we do have to kind of work around bits but unfortunately i did have to just settle for this night now the triangle pieces are where the stairs lead off and they make it so your stairs don't actually take up as much room as if they were just actually in the center now what you need to do is whenever you put a staircase on you see you need to make sure that the walls are put on around it first because basically as you see right here it's, it will not try and snap to things now i've got i think it's three or floor three or floor three or four walkways i think it's about three floors and as you can see there are three square no two squares uh, ignoring this one right here but normally they're two squares and three triangle floor pieces you, you'll see what i mean um and they go any base i practice this a lot obviously because we can't just pick bits up and put them back down again so annoyingly because there's no you know grace period or anything for kind of building stuff so i had to uh, experiment this this actual planning this build took a couple of hours now, I would have, incidentally, those of us you watching this in the future won't really notice, but this is actually much later than I was intending it to be. Uh, the reason being is because Conan Exiles recently had an update, but it's then have a new update where you couldn't actually see things when you were building them. So all that schematic, you just couldn't see. So this was a bit later, which is cool because I've been uh, wanting to actually make something in Conan Exiles for a while. Also, I did make, not an error, but it looks a little different. So this one here has a doorway similar to my houses, whereas the other guard tower didn't. This is what happens when you build things like a week apart. You completely forget. I actually, when I first tried to do this, I, I completely forgot how I did the floor. But completely, I just, I didn't even bother checking. I thought I'd remembered, but evidently, evidently not. I'm all right with the fact this looks a little different. It adds a bit more character, plus I'm, I'm, I'm too lazy. I mentioned this before, but I really wish they... You'll see me make a few errors in this. Um, like, things where I've just put things down and have to kind of demolish them again. I really, 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 really wish they gave us a grace period of, like, five minutes. We placed that Five minutes, I think. Because that way you could, like, get quite far into a build and then realise, ah, oh, shit, I've got to redo, you know, that bottom floor piece. And it would save so much time rather than necessarily having to then redo an entire... You know, basically demolish an entire structure. Because, you know... A lot of the errors you can find when you're building, as those of you who like building a lot know, is when you get halfway through or towards the end. You're like, oh, shit. And also with here, you see me right now. I have a habit of accidentally... I got a new mouse, but I, I still have a habit of accidentally placing items down like when they quickly just snap and I don't pay attention and they... It's a pain in the arse. But it, it, it's a very, very good function. I, I like the, the core mechanics they're going for with this. It's just um, there's definitely some fine polishing... Especially, like I said, with the last episode where they made everything invisible. <laughs> I was really excited. It was, um, was it Saturday now? So it was Thursday. So I took two days off and I'm going to do a video tomorrow. Normally I do my, my Monday to Friday thing. But I was like, fuck it. I've already taken a break. So I'll just take my two days off. And um, I went to build and everything was invisible. <laughs> so you can see right here, I've made it. So all of the floors, so you see they're two square bits. Ceiling, floors, fuck it, whatever. And two, three triangles. 
and it's quite a solid little kind of setup, I think. It feels windy enough, but also there's a little bit of walking, because originally when I did this, I made it so that the step, it was basically like a triangle, a square piece and a triangle, and it kind of went up steeper. The problem is, is you ended up, it didn't feel like the staircase was actually spiraling around the inside of the tower. You could have even made it go a little bit more, but I was worried it might cut off and it just wouldn't feel as spirally then it would actually feel like separate floors you could also put actual floors so you see how i'm going to do the top floor here um when i do like the the gap where the stairs go through you don't actually need much space i think it's about more correctly it's one triangle and one square um which is compared to you know obviously with my other buildings where you, when you want to to go between a floor and an indoor staircase it, it, you end up having to have like a massive gap this one the way it works with the spiral is it works a little better it's quite a simple build this, but it's quite satisfying. And I do do a nice big tour, do do lol, um, of the <laughs> of the compound as well. It's quite cool. I've been inspired quite a bit because those of you who follow Code and Exiles on Twitter, and I, I don't, I'm not actually active on the subreddit, but I'm assuming they're there as well. Some of the builds people have been doing is really, really, really cool. And I kind of want to up my game a little bit. I haven't really been playing very much. The For Honor came out and I got distracted. But I've started playing again. <laughs> It's quite cathartic. Also, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, you fuck it. Always happens, but it's alright, because I'm a filthy, filthy cheat in my little single-player game, so it's fine making funky buildings and shit. I'm quite enjoying this. Just just the building part. It's, it's just like Lego for me. So here we go. Da -da -da -da. I'm also pleased, because you see the way that staircase, everything worked perfectly. Uh, when I, for some reason, when I did the like the main, and I'll give you a little tour now so you can see it looks really pretty as well. Um, but when I did the other tower, for some reason the up, the top floor staircase didn't want to snap properly. So I ended up having to make the corridor a little smaller. It was very frustrating, basically. This is my life. I get frustrated about annoying building mechanics. Now you see, indoors that doesn't look too bad. But when I do the tour from the outside, it does look very ugly with the with those foundations that normally it wouldn't be a problem you know you you would know this pretty much but because obviously i built this as part of this structure i just had to kind of accept it right now i'm gonna activate my wee little ghost mode so we can do a bit of a wee tour it does look cool. it looks very cool from the top you wait you see just you wait just you wait it looks fantastic this is kind of the initial thing i wanted to kind of show you guys something quite simple but also quite I think building something like this sets you up to be a bit more creative. Cause it's, quite, it's quite creative, but it's not like massively complex. But it, it makes sense. You see where I've just fucked up on the towers. I've made it. <laughs> also, one of those houses is a little bit bigger. So the one on the back left there is actually bigger than the other two. So that was an accident as well. And I've got my wee little practice hut over there. So really, I hope you guys uh, like this. The compound looks really cool other than those incredibly ugly little foundations poking out the bottom of that. But we can do some, make it, I'm, I'm thinking of just making it like a little kind of ramp, because you know you'll add little kind of character elements to the outside of the building, but it looks like, as like a, a kind of like early game compound, it was quite simple, it's quite cool, and also you can defend this quite easily I think, especially when you add kind of an actual street level, which I'm going to do soon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that, as always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. I'll have a new video up tomorrow, and until then, you guys enjoy your weekend, take care.